What's up, everybody? The CEO, the money maker, the one and only storm taker, guys. And I know you already saw the intro for this video. Ideas. We just love the word ideas. It brings something new to the world, guys. I don't like that at all. What's up, everybody? The CEO, the money maker, the one and only storm taker, guys. And here are five ideas that every single Clash of Clans player would appreciate being added to the game, guys. I'm telling you guys, the last idea is my favorite, but without wasting your time, smash that like button. Let's jump on into the video and let's met. I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's just kick some ass, baby. All right, let's go. So the first idea we got, guys, is a new hero equipment, guys. And shout out to this guy right here uh, for the hero equipment, guys. Uh, I'll be shouting out. This is on Reddit. It is called the Flaming Arrows. And how this would work is there are fiery arrows gained area damage and hits an extra target with each building destroyed, guys. How this would work is by firing an arrow and it does area damage over time. Something similar to the Flame Flinger. The ability will be activated for 10.4 seconds. I don't know if that would be the best. I would rather it be a passive passive ability like how we have the frost arrows the radius is 2.5 tiles which is kind of big uh the max number of targets three so you can do splash damage to three targets at one time and it is a hero equipment for the queen so it's called flaming arrows he has it at level 18 uh, which kind of brings some concern how would the weaker levels be but i think it's an interesting idea since we already got the frost arrows the flaming arrows spreading that area damage bringing area damage to the archer queen and i think this is sick that's why i put it in the number the first spot guys and now we got number two we have this is a small update but this is a huge one display the challenges of clan games guys don't guys don't you hate doing clan games and forgot what challenge you're doing once you start the matchmaking so this is a small icon on the right side underneath the dark elixir where you can click on it and see the challenge that you are doing at the moment guys i love the idea of this small update guys this is a small one but it's so powerful and it also would help when you're trying to speed run challenges and clan races um clan games guys since there are more challenges we got the streak events we got the holland event going on right now the more challenges guys where you got to get started you got the super challenges with the super troops these would be perfect uh to be able to see what challenge you're doing guys and i think this should definitely be added to the game that's why it's coming number two we got number three is a new clan capital troop uh, aka you all know him you all love him the fisherman from from clash royale guys this would be a, a troop um, that the fisherman would hook himself to the nearest building, bringing the fisherman closer to the building, stuns the building, guys. So he would be a defense targeting troop that stuns the building, similar to the archer queen's um, frills and arrows, I would guess. But he only targets defense and pulls himself towards the uh, defense, guys. I think this is sick. Uh, he would have probably like a level tower radio, something very similar to the uh, the kicker barbarians. And I think this is a good one, too. That's why I got it at number three. All right, and this is my favorite. These are my favorite. Shout out to this person who came up with the ideas. I'll be shouting out every single one of these guys. Uh, go spread them some love. Go check out the post on Reddit. And this is something that the game Clash of Clans Supercell needs to do. We got clan magic items. Uh, these magic items will put in the clan magic item storage and can only be used by co-leaders and leaders. These magic items will be earned in clan games with clan experience. And also we can get these magic items by complete, competing more tiers. I feel like this can be earned too in clan or league and clan war clan war would be a good way to earn some of these magic items uh so the first magic item that this guy has on the list um is the clan the capital power potion boost clan capital troops and spells to the max allowed by the capital hall for one day and i love the idea of one day instead of the whole week as he stated there it would be too powerful the whole weekend just for one day boosting every single a power potion for clan capital troops simple Number two, we got, this is my favorite one, the War or Axe, Pickaxe. And this one is so unique. Doubles the amount of ores in war win bonuses for the next war. 
ores are not doubled if war is lost and i love this idea because people would be so more active seeing that we have a shortage of ore um and people sometimes do not want to fight i love these ideas and um this would incentivize people to try to win the war more because you're going to get double the amount of ore since you use this potion and i also think these are ways to get the clans more active and also giving co-leaders and leaders more of uh more than just a title right now i feel like co-leaders and leaders just have a title it's not that big of a difference since uh being a co-leader an elder it's not that much of a difference but with this the gap widens even more and the top will be on top and the bottom will be on bottom guys also guys comment down below which one of these ideas you think you guys like the most uh for me it is definitely the clan magic items i'm out of here peace